So you have pretty much lived in Norway your entire life and you have just graduated high school or are about to get your Vidregone Vitmemol, if I haven't butchered that pronunciation, and you have thought about studying in the US for your university education. Now stay tuned because you have just come to the right video as I'm about to disclose with you three major benefits that you have as a young adult from Norway specifically when it comes to getting a university education in America. Just before we get started, my name is Jonas. I'm one of the co-founders of ePro360. ePro360 is a service provider for international students who want to pursue a college education in the US. And we have helped hundreds of students from around the world to study in the US and get a college education there at the best possible college based on the individual profile of that student for the best possible price. I've studied there myself as an international student and as you can hear I'm from Germany originally. Now here's the thing, the effect that I have witnessed even from, for people from Germany is even stronger for people from the north of Europe. Let me get to benefit number one out of three that I promised. Benefit number one that you have specifically if you're from the northern part of Europe or the Scandinavian countries is that you are pretty much the world champion when it comes to speaking English as a foreign language. Not only you, but even your parents' generation often have mastered the English language to an extent where hardly any other culture that doesn't have English as the second language, that, that doesn't have English as the first language, is able to speak it at, at such a, a, on, on such a great level as if it's your first language. I'm reminding you of this. You are all aware that this is a benefit, a general benefit that the United States obviously values because it's much easier to work with you guys or work with us. Saying this, this even works for people from Germany, but again, the further you go north, the better it gets. This is a benefit for international admission processes because you guys are just less of a pain in the butt for US education, for US institutions to help you get there. This is number one, this is general. Now number two and three are very timely. Number two, throughout the corona pandemic, the amount of international students in the US has been on a steady decline because it's been more difficult for people from around the world to leave their home country and get an education in the US. Also because of affordability. But the north of Europe specifically is financially more wealthy, that people were still able to afford it. And second, it's also um, a part of the world where there has always been great political alignment between the US and where you are from, if you're watching this video. So in terms of visa processes and all that, it's been easy, easier for the US to recruit students from the north of Europe than, it's been for, um, to, than it, it has been after the corona pandemic to recruit students from other countries around the world because you know the political ties between the US and other countries have, be, have been challenged more so that international student recruitment from other parts around the world isn't as easy. Long story short, the United States needs international student, needs campus diversity. And the north of Europe has just historically been a place from which it is easier to recruit from. So this is why the emphasis has been placed on the north of Europe. Again, one is the English language that has made it easy. Then it's the historical good political ties. Benefit number three is, is taking it all together. It's the recent conflict with Russia that has made Europe the NATO states, but in general, the European continent and the United States ha has moved it closer together, right? Especially that big border between Finland and Russia has been something that is <clears throat> that, that, that Finland, alongside with all other Scandinavian and Northern European countries, have been moved closer to the US as almost like a protection layer, if you look at it from the US perspective. This helps. This helps you nowadays, as I'm recording this video, especially in 2022, probably going into 2023 and this entire decade and forward. This will help you get 
more funding easier than it has been before because the United States wants to strengthen that relationship and wants to, wants to strengthen that layer of protection against Russia. As challenging as this situation is, when it comes to higher education, for you guys in the US, doors have been opened up. If you want to find out how that is possible for you, whether it's possible for you specifically with your grades, with your profiles, with your academic desires, and if that's possible for how much, then feel free to come to us. There is going to be a link under this video where you can register for a free consultation to talk to one of our experts in the team on the phone. We will call you free of charge. And we will, we will answer all your questions and give you a financial assessment also to, to, let you know, to, to give you a better idea, you and your family, how much a college education will be in the US. Just to give you a general number, in the ballpark of 20,000 US dollars it's, is what has been made possible. And this is insanely cheap for the US. Usually, if you look at higher education in the US, it costs you know, in the mid five figures per year. So when you want to pursue, let's say, a bachelor's degree in the US in, in business administration or, or any other popular subject, um, you're always often looking into, into the six figures for that entire bachelor's degree, not for you. Again, we're ha we're, we have to take a look at your profile to see whether that's possible for you as well. And if you decide not to make this video a waste of your time, register below now. Again, you're gonna be called free of charge. If you have a general question or a specific one, comment below even. My team and I is usually um, able to get back to you within 48 hours. And if you just wanna learn more about high education in the US, how to get their requirements, financing your, your, your study goals in the US. Do not forget to like, the, to like this video, which helps the algorithm. Subscribe to this channel and hit this bell button so you will be notified when we release more content. We would love to hear from you. Wish you all the best and, and until next time. Bye.